This should be against the law. You shouldn't legally be allowed to do this to a person. This man's life is ruined. Guys, getting a tattoo is a big commitment. You have to really think about what you want on your body for the rest of your life. You don't just walk into a tattoo shop and say, yeah, I'll take the uh, tattoo. If you don't take it seriously, you could end up with a tattoo you really regret, like these ones. Is this supposed to be Darth Vader? This looks, this, this is gonna be very specific. This looks like Darth Vader if he was a chicken nugget. <laughs> like, like if they made a Star Wars edition of chicken nuggets, this is the shape that he would be. Do you know what I mean? No leggy is power. That's pretty ironic. I'm kind of surprised that the tattoo artist didn't double check the spelling. Like, are you sure this is what you want me to tattoo on you? Like this exactly is spelled like that. But that implies that an actual tattoo artist did this, not just some guy with a tattoo gun he found on Timu. Okay, look, I love Kit Kats as much as the next guy, uh, but I still wouldn't get this tatted on my bald head. My head isn't bald, but if I, if I were, this is not what I would get a tattoo of. If I were bald, I'd get a tattoo of a hat on my head. So then you couldn't tell that I'm bald. El Jopanes Romtic. I have no idea what that is. Sounds like a great Spanish restaurant. Oh, it's supposed to say Hopeless Romantic, but the, the letters in the middle are a little too high up. I like how the letters are facing out, so the only way to show somebody your tattoo is to do this. Which is what you do when you're begging for something. Like, PLEASE GIVE ME LOVE! PLEASE I'M SUCH A HOPELESS ROMANTIC! Oh my god. This tiger looks just a little bit off, I'd say. I mean, he couldn't even align the eyeballs. I'm not an artist, but I feel like that shouldn't be very hard to do. Just for fun, I put this through an AI image upscaler to see what it would look like if it was done by somebody who knew how to draw. It looks better, but you could tell he's still way too long. It looks like he was molded out of Play-Doh. Babby girl. Babby girl. You only had to spell two words and you managed to fuck it up. Immigrants, come to America and have 10 kids. We will pay for their school, food, rent, dental, and doctors. Just come, stupid America will pay for it and you don't have to work. Okay, this is the work of an insane person. This reads like something your boomer relatives would post on Facebook. Not something you would tattoo on your freaking back. I also love how it's just in default Microsoft Word font. Like there's nothing artistic about it whatsoever. And also the Monster Energy logo tattooed right underneath that is a great touch. Okay, I have no idea what you were trying to do here, but you failed at it. I'm sorry. Maybe this person's favorite flower is a tiger lily? So they were trying to do something with that. I don't, I, and again, the eyes are not even aligned properly. What is it with these tiger tattoos and not having symmetrical eyes? Scooby-Doo, oh Lord. Scooby-Doo taught us that the real monsters were always human. The moment I will stop loving Scooby-Doo will be the moment I will stop breathing. Take it easy, son, it's just a drawing. The art is actually very nice on this one, but I'm just imagining if he went out with somebody and he took off his shirt for the first time and they saw this, what their reaction would be. Memento Mori. Oh, this one looks actually pretty familiar. Oh, right, yeah, I have the... I have the exact same tattoo, except there's one key difference between ours. One, one letter in particular. Mine is the one that's spelled correctly. Okay, well this guy didn't even wait to go bald before getting his head tattooed. I wonder if he's planning to keep that one pack shaved at all times, or if he's just gonna let it grow and cover it up. I would recommend the latter option. Believe in yourself and never lose poop. I thought that said poop. It actually says never lose hoop, so that's much better. That makes a lot more sense. Never lose hoop. How does this happen? Like, do you not, do you not look into the tattoo artist before you choose them or ask them any questions beforehand? Like, hey, I'd like a tattoo. I can tattoo you. Okay, great. Are you licensed? No. Do you have a portfolio? No. Can you draw? I failed every art class I ever took. Can you spell? No. Huh. So, do you want a face tattoo? Oh, hell yeah. Sir, you seem to have an entire fucking spider on your face. Holy moly. This should be against the law. You shouldn't legally be allowed to do this to a person. This man's life is ruined. I, I can see how the conversation went. It was probably something like, hey, what kind of tattoo do you want? Oh, you know, just completely ruined my fucking life. Oh, I got you. Pee pee poo poo. So this is it, huh, folks? This is how far we fall in as a species. We're just getting pee pee poo poo permanently inked on ourselves. This guy has a tattoo on the back of his hand that says, I'm fans. And then when you put it upside down, it says, Sufwi. Uh, wow, that's deep. Oh no, it's supposed to say, I'm fine, and then save me. I guess he forgot that turning an M upside down makes a W. Easy mistake to make. I mean, what could he have possibly done to avoid that? Draw it on a piece of paper and turn it upside down to read it and make sure it works before getting it tattooed on himself forever? That's way too much work. I'm getting tired just thinking about it. Okay, no, this is, this is where I draw the line. That's enough. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you subscribe now, you'll get in early before I become the number one most subscribed YouTuber. That's gonna be any day now, so don't miss out. My name is Wolfgang, thank you for watching.